Welcome to chapter C10 of the textbook on sustainability management. This is actually the last, the final chapter of this textbook, and it's about digitalization and sustainability management. A very up-to-date topic, uh, even uh, in the realm of sustainability management, with it, which is up-to-date by itself, of course. So let's have a closer look what this chapter is all about. After this chapter, you'll be able to uh, first illustrate different environmental, social and governance challenges stemming from digitalization. So we're borrowing again the concept of ESG, environmental social governance issues, and you'll learn that digital technologies, for example, use and produce a large amount of energy and electronic waste. That's the environmental aspect. They may result in social problems such as low paid work or an application of discrimination. That's the social aspect. And they may, for example, be connected to governance issues such as data security or data privacy and others. You'll be able to explain opportunities of various digital technologies to foster sustainability and sustainability management. And you'll learn here in that regard that um, there are several digital tools and technologies such as tracking and surveillance technologies, dialogic technologies, data dissemination technologies, and also blockchain technology. And all these may enable more sustainable processes, more sustainable behavior, depending on how they are used. Then you'll be able to discuss how respective technologies can generally be used to influence behavior. And you'll see that we distinguish between a control orientation and a relational orientation uh, so that these technologies can either be used to ensure compliance or they can be used to initiate and simplify communication between the two uh, different actors or more actors, for example, in supply chain um, and so on. Furthermore, you'll be able to explain the idea of so-called um, corporate digital responsibility or CDR. Uh, and you'll learn that CDR describes responsibilities of companies regarding ethical opportunities and challenges of digitalization as well. And you'll learn that again, uh, borrowing from the concept of environmental, social and governance, so ESG, that there are uh, several areas for um, CDR, for corporate digital responsibility. First, there's environmental uh, CDR that includes, for example, reducing energy and the carbon footprint of, of uh, technology of IT and so on. Um, dealing with digital waste is also an issue here and using digital systems as a mean to facilitate sustainability efforts, as I just mentioned before on the last slide. Uh, then we have the area of social CDR that includes, for example, and amongst others, digital well-being, digital empowerment and inclusion, an unbiased artificial intelligence and use of artificial intelligence, digital surveillance and digital freedom, amongst others. And finally, we have governance CDR that includes, for example, issues such as data ownership, privacy, data responsibility, uh, data stewardship, data security, and also robot ethics. Very interesting. And these are here now the final features of the book, There's three in total for this chapter C10. We have a feature on sustainability in society, the dirty side of producing digital technologies. Then we have a sustainability and business feature, the uh, Facebook and uh, Cambridge analytical data scandal. That was about data governance, privacy and so on. That was a huge deal a couple of years ago. And then finally, and that is the very last feature of this book, sustainability and business, IBM's pilot project on sensor monitored blockchain based sustainable water management, an interesting feature on what digitalization can do um, to foster sustainability if it is applied uh, in the right way. That's it. And now we're through the entire book. Thank you very much for your uh, attention throughout and have fun with this final chapter.